Welcome to Superliminal. I was asked to play this game a little while ago. I say a little while, it's been at least a few months. And I managed to find it cheap, so I picked it up. And this is going to just be none other than a trip. It's all based on puzzles involving different depths and perspectives. So I could see something that looks really far away, but realistically, it's right next to me. So we're going to start a new game. I've never played it before. I want to see exactly how this goes. I've seen the trailer. It does look very, very trippy. And I'm not the uh, not the sharpest tool in the shed. I, I, don't, I don't want to see all this. Forget this. No. Oh, can I not skip this, please? Okay, hopefully that's over. It, it was just some like introduction to the game. WASD. I'm looking at a wall, I'm guessing, yeah. Oh god, I'm not looking forward to this. Wait, it turns out I've just signed the, the TOS. I, I'm not even bothered reading it. Okay, so the door's open. I'm actually kind of scared to play this. Like, not scared. Like, there's there's no fear. It's just, like, I'm nervous. I don't want to be... What's that? Perception is reality. Grab. What do I do with them once I've grabbed them? I don't know if I can turn things around. Whoa, hello, you're a big piece. But are you actually big? Can I put that over there? Nice. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling Oh, I don't want to fall asleep. To Your progress may be monitored by Hold right click to rotate. Oh, okay. Oh, I see where I have to go. That's cheeky. So, let's grab these. Hopefully I can jump high enough. I should be able to. I can. I'm out. Alright, so I'm not looking so stupid so far. No objects beyond this point at all times. But I'm not actually allowed in. Can I cheese it? Let me put that there. Nope, not allowed to grab it. Okay, so we've got red and green. I need to get that object into the room. Oh no, go away. This game's tripping me out already. I thought I managed to do it then. It says no object past this point, like beyond this point at all times. So I'm guessing I have to do something to make it look as though the cube is there. But it's not working. If I go... Look, it's really small. I go close and I pick it up and I move it. Like I step back as I'm lifting it up. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Is this game actually joking? I have just stood here I know it says no objects behind, but you don't know what you can do in this game when you've never played it before. People that have played it before are probably sitting there laughing. But, um, you're not allowed any objects beyond this. So what you do, you come into the room, you open the door, you can grab that block. That is annoying. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is keep doing this. Is that enough? There we go, progress. I can't pick these up. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. This game is actually so trippy. Not allowed objects through. What am I supposed to do with that one? Oh, that one's nice and easy. Right. Oh, no. Is that just to put me off? 
That is just to put me off, isn't it? They took a little bit of that cheese out. Oh no, I made it really small again. No! Still need to go bigger. I'm still not going to be able to jump in. Oh, I made it in! During eyelids, you will lose the ability <sighs> to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Wait, why is this all blocked off? Do I want to be doing this? Dream soda? Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Okay. Ta-da! Now what? Oh, okay. Right, if I grab you... This is a piece from the trailer. Too big. No, it needs to be smaller. Ta -da. Look at how trippy that is. Oh, this is it, it's a bloody good game, but the way they put it together, amazing. If you believe your mental state is just by some it really gets your mind going. Rational explanation in your post procedural survey. Completed survey. They really don't want for a gift card. They don't want items through. Okay, so is that just... Hold on. Oh, I'm a smart cookie sometimes. No items. And then you can be fined. Okay. Okay, let me do a door at a time. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Can I ignore them and just carry on? I don't want to drop down in case I can't get back up. There's no other way into that room. Is this just a never-ending corridor? It is, isn't it? Oh, uh, and I can't grab any of that stuff. I'm just going to have to go into the next room. There are no objects. What am I supposed to do? I'm not allowed to bring that through with me. Maybe. Nope. See, I need to get that to the one at the back now to open this door. But this door is going to close. 
Unless... Is that... That's not enough, is it? Wait, if I do it like this... Oh! It's good, it's good, it's good. I like it. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. There's nothing I can... Is there something I can grab? I stand on that again? Oh. Yeah, but I can't get through. Oh, okay. I thought, oh, I'll make it big. I'll be able to climb up and ramp over that. But I didn't need to. I can just smash into the walls. And because it's big and it's heavy, I can just knock them all down. Perfect. Okay. So this, that says exit. So maybe along here? Wait. I'm guessing that's the first level done. Oh, don't start changing the loading bar and stuff. Because that'll just be it straight still, won't it? Really? Is it the same this way? Exit temporarily moved. Oh, uh, this is so trippy. No, no, just stick that up there and make that the exit. Is it over there that I've got to go? Maybe? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. Wait, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this. Oh, I am. I'm a fucking genius. I need to now get up there. Oh, how do I do this one? Is there something I can hold up to make it? There's a piece of it missing. I can't lift anything up. Wait a second. I made a table. <laughs> Wait, is it that lamp? Help me! Oh, that's smart. That is so, so... This game is actually incredible. It's like a full-on staircase. Just instantly, credit to the people that made this.
<laughs> this game's fantastic. It definitely gets you thinking. Right, what am I going to have to do to make that exit? Could I bring you up here with me? Oh. Oh, there we go then. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. I don't like updates to let me know that I'm lost. Wait, I can't step. <sighs> I need to be able to step further back in order to make this piece. Because there's a cube there. No, I need to be able to stand on it, don't I? There we go, removed the hole in the wall. This is actually like bizarre how this works. Are you serious? I can grab the moon. Wait, is that the moon? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, smart. I need to get no, I need to get through that door game. Look at that. Ah, don't fall on me. <laughs> I actually love it. As much as it hurts heads. Look at how cool that is. It feels as though I'm really small. Wait, is it automatic? I don't get to select floor. Why they gotta do that? Why did they have to bring the loading bar the opposite way? It's just, it's all psychological. It's to get into your head. But as I said, the game's all about depth and perspective and I've absolutely loved this. I'm glad I picked it up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the video there let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments if you guys enjoy it. I'll be more than happy to come back to it. But that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.